it's obviously a challenging one for us and a, and a challenging situation. Um, you know, there's not a lot you can say. You can't sugarcoat it. Like, it was fairly poor. And they, they've just gone through it. So, um, you know, we've, we've just challenged them how we come out of this. You know, there's two ways you go when you're in this type of situation. We can either sit down and ring the bell and um, just turn up and deliver that for the next four or five weeks, or we can... Um, decide what we want to be individually, um, what we want to bring and, um, you know, do our best effort to try and squeeze that out of the next four or five weeks. And what they get out of the next few weeks will be what they take through the rest of their career. So if they learn to sit down and quit now, that'll be, um, you know, that'll be what they do when they're under stress or if they learn to fight and learn to, um, you know, try and, as tough as it is, you can look for excuses or you can get back to hard work and, like quite simply, today our effort wasn't good enough. So that that doesn't matter what your situation of your season's been or um, what we've been through or what's happened. You know, we didn't try hard enough today, and that's a pretty. Um, There's probably not a worse thing you could say to your football team than that. Is that the fear over the next five games or so that there'd be more of that? Um, I'm not really scared of it as such for our results. For me personally, the fear is that that it is the habit that they allow for the, you know, for them, you know, that that, that that becomes acceptable for them, you know, individually, whether they stay here, whether they move on to other places, but that becomes their standard, you know, acceptable for them. And that's, um, you know, if that's their, what they take out of this season, if that's their legacy moving forward from this season, I think that's a terrible tragedy. Can you put your finger on why that is the case? Like, I know you've had all your troubles this year, but what, what, what's the reason for well, being as it is. yeah, I think there's a, a lot of reasons. Yeah, I think there's a ton of reasons. If, there were, if it was as simple as one or two reasons, I'm sure it would have been fixed by now. But, um, and I mean, for the performance, yeah, I've probably got to accept a chunk of responsibility for that myself. You know, we squeezed them really hard the last couple of weeks to try and um, try and catch up, I guess, from some stuff that we might have been missing and um, maybe we've flattened them a bit much, maybe, um, yeah, maybe squeezed them too hard. Uh, but, you know, whatever we've done, for all of us, I'm not just putting the players in it, I'm, I'm in it with them at the moment, but for all of us, that was um, way off the mark today. That was just unacceptable. Particularly disappointing, Craig, given um, Justin was locked in as head coach this week. Does it serve you there now going forward? And that's the kind of performance that follows first up? Yeah, you would think that that should have made life easier. Uh, they know who they've got to impress now. They know who, um, you know, there's a bit of clarity around the next couple of years. Um, so you, I would have thought and, and was expecting, honestly, a, a positive kick from the group today. Um, for, yeah, for those exact reasons. Yeah. Is this rock bottom, mate? Um, it's not ideal. I, I hope it doesn't get too much lower than this. It's a, it's pretty hollow, uh, pretty disappointing um, feeling, yeah. I guess they've got to realise that the incoming coach will be watching closely over the next you know, four to five weeks. Absolutely, yeah. And that, that's what I just the point I just made. I, I thought... I thought we would have had a bit of bounce in us today, a bit of kick um, for the simple fact that they know that there's a, you know, there's always going to be a coach next year, but now they know exactly who it is and know exactly who'll be watching. And, and um, you know, today was a, a great opportunity to show them what they can do. Well, they, you know, we definitely showed him something, but um, he, he wouldn't like what he saw. Did you make Ash Davis return? Yeah, he's, he's rusty Ash and, um, you know, low on confidence, like a lot of people that have time off. Um, he'll certainly get better over a, over with more games, but yeah, he was he was like the rest of us. Uh, I guess we we're a little off today. The whole group. How's uh, Michael Gordon? Great. He's just got a hamstring. Um, we couldn't even call it a tear, but it's uh, he felt a little bit in the captain's run yesterday, and then pulled up. No worries last night and. Um, this morning it was really good, and then just um, it just couldn't stride out, couldn't hit top speed. So there's there's certainly a hamstring issue there. It's not uh, not a major one, but enough that he couldn't run. And what about your own future, mate? Have you given any thought to or any indication of where you sit with the club next year? If you'd like to continue with Justin coming in? Um, well, I'm, I'm not sure what I'll be doing next year. I wouldn't think. Um, yeah, I, I certainly haven't given a lot of headspace to it at all for the simple fact that we've got so much going on here at the moment. I, I've, you know, I'd be lying if I said I ha it hadn't crossed my mind, I hadn't thought about it, but, um, yeah, we've got so much that we need to try and do here and there's so much um, that, 
like I said, for the players, you know, to try and launch them into next year and, and, and what's coming, um, you know, I'll probably put myself on the back burner to try and help them a little bit more at the moment, which, um, yeah, probably didn't see today. Good. Togos.